Jumbo, Karibu, Asante Sana, to my fellow Ethiopia, I mean to my fellow Kenyans, and also um, Salamdam to my fellow Ethiopians. Hope everyone's okay. It's Black Moon the Traveler, and here I'm just making a video about my honest review, about my experience um, staying in Kenya and Ethiopia. Um, as you guys know, I've been traveling. I've been um, traveling around the world. I've been doing this for the last three years, almost three years, and it's been amazing um, experience with the people that I met and everyone that I've seen, um, the places that I've been to, the cultures that I've learned, the religions, the beliefs, the food, um, seeing new people, learning about the diversity that the world has, and it's, it's been a crazy experience. So this video I'm gonna show you I'm going to speak about my experiences between Kenya and Ethiopia and hopefully I'm going to show you the comparison. Let's continue. Right guys, comparison number one. Um, transportation. Transportation in Ethiopia and Kenya are very, very similar. Both capitals are very busy. Addis Ababa is a mega city. Nairobi is a mega city as well. They're both located in East Africa, but for transportation, um, I'll definitely say use public transportation in both countries. Buses are very handy in downtown Addis Ababa and also in downtown Nairobi. Um, they've got the they've got those Matatu buses in Nairobi. Um, I've been in them. You're gonna see them in some of my videos in my Kenyan videos. Um, the Matatus are very very cool to jump on, especially if you're in Kenya or if you're gonna be traveling around Kenya because. Each Matatu is different. They've got different designs. Um, they play their own music and they're kind of built different. They're not all the same. It's like, for example, when you jump in a Matatu, it's like you're um, you're going to like a nightclub during the day because there's music playing, it's so loud, it's pumping, it's, it's energetic. So um, transportation, I really love the transportation in, 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 in Kenya um, when it comes to local buses. Ethiopia, I've only taken, I've taken a local bus before. It's a, it's a cool experience. Um, in terms of cities, comparison number two, cities, I would say Addis Ababa is a very big city. Also, Nairobi is a big city as well. There's certain parts of Addis Ababa that looks a bit um, old and a bit run down, but also that's the same as Nairobi as well. Nairobi is very developed. I think Nairobi is built for tourism just that's just my opinion nairobi is built for tourism um addis ababa is also built for tourism as well but there's certain things that um the ethiopian government is to work on in terms of um certain infrastructure in as in addis ababa but from one thing i've learned about addis ababa it is up and coming there's a lot of new buildings there's a lot of mega works happening in addis ababa so both cities are very 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 busy you need to be very street smart when you're walking in Nairobi or if you're walking in um, Addis Ababa because they're very busy um, hustle and bustle what I like about Addis Ababa and Nairobi is it's just culture food music there's so many things happening you're going to get lost get lost in both cities especially Addis Ababa and Nairobi get lost speak to the people try the food walk in some random alleyways just go to some random buildings go to some random areas just 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 embrace where you are because you're in Africa so comparison number one both cities are very uh, comparison number two both cities are very interesting um, transportation is amazing so I'll definitely say guys um, it's just one one comparison number three right I would say food um, the food in Ethiopia I prefer the food in Ethiopia than the food in in Kenya, not to be rude. Um, the injada is very tasty, very traditional. I'm not a fan of the nakutroma, uh, the Kenyan dish. Um, I did try some other dishes, but I just love the Ethiopian cuisine. It's mixed with flavors, it's spicy, it's um, it's colorful. Um, the Kenyan food is okay, but I just I prefer the food, uh, the Ethiopian food. Uh, comparison number cuatro. Keep doing this i don't know why i keep doing this but i like it. it's my style of filming so comparison comparison number four um the people right ethiopian people seem to be very some of them seem to be a bit shy um, a lot of them seem very shy um but they are very hospitable from what i from from what i've seen and from what i've experienced ethiopians are very friendly um the majority are shy 
you have to start to speak to them a bit more for them to you know to relax and to just to be free but um the people are very polite um a lot of them are intrigued to know where you come from and uh why you're filming but i had no issues uh, filming in ethiopia i had no problems in ethiopia apart from one incident with one guy but in general the people are very sociable very very um like caring from my experience but they are shy kenyans are just like <sighs> kenyan people are just crazy they're just like sociable a lot of them like hey why are you filming hey where are you from kenyans are very intrigued people but they're very very polite my experience um they're very friendly tourist friendly they're very happy to see foreigners to come to the country and to know why they're in the country they're very also they're very um excited to uh to show people why people should come to kenya they're very like tourism friendly so the people in both countries are very 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 equal now um security i've had no issues in both countries i was in ethiopia during um when they had a problem i faced no problems at all with soldiers, with people, I felt safe. I walked around the streets late at two in the morning, one in the morning. I even went clubbing in um, in in Addis Ababa. I went to other cities in um, in Ethiopia. I had no problem. I had no insecurity. I felt very safe in Ethiopia. Don't let the media um, portray that Ethiopia is having a war. Right, there might be certain issues in certain parts of the country, but I had no issues at all. I felt very safe. I felt comfortable carrying my stuff with me. Kenya as well, downtown you got to be a bit careful in downtown Nairobi but I had no issues, um, I felt very safe in Nairobi, um, I enjoyed um, spending my time in Nairobi, I was there for only for five days but I plan to come back hopefully inshallah to Kenya because I really want to go to Mombasa but I had no issues um, in, in Kenya, I felt very safe walking as well, walking late, I was with Mr Ponte, we had no problem um, taking public transport so security issues, both countries are pretty much the same. Um, what else am I going to say? Food, people, culture, transportation. Now, would I go back to Ethiopia and Kenya? I do plan to go back to Ethiopia to film, actually. Um, just, there's other African countries that I really want to go to. Nigeria, Ghana, Egypt, back to Morocco to film Algeria. I would definitely go back to both countries. I definitely recommend people to go to Ethiopia because it's the only country that hasn't been colonised it's the only country that has not been colonized in Africa. There's a lot of history in Ethiopia. So I definitely recommend people to go to Ethiopia and, and, and to check it out as well. Um, there's so much culture. They're rich in culture. Even Kenya. I'll definitely go back to Kenya because I only stayed in Nairobi. I really want to go to Mombasa and I really want to go to other uh, different cities. So I'll definitely go back to both countries. Um, I just think both countries are equal. They're both... They're both raw, they're very like, exotic. Once you leave Addis Ababa in Ethiopia and you leave Nairobi out of Kenya, I think that's where the journey starts and the journey starts to get more interesting because I've not left um, outside of Nairobi. But I think there's a lot of culture, there's a lot of raw and authenticness in both countries. So I definitely recommend people to go to these countries and just to, just to embrace it. Um, so I've done security, I've done food, I've done people, I've done culture, I've done accommodation, I've done transportation. One thing I can say is just go to these countries, guys. Don't be scared to travel to these countries. Um, beautiful people, beautiful women, beautiful um, hospitality, security is amazing, uh, natural. They're both blessed with natural beauty. So I definitely recommend, guys, to go to these countries and just to experience it because Kenya and Ethiopia are amazing. The people are very polite. The people are also interested to see why you're coming here. Both countries have a lot of uh, diversity with religion, you know, with food, with um, historical beliefs, with a lot of history uh, cities around in both countries in Ethiopia and Kenya. So I definitely recommend you guys just to just to live when you come to these countries in Africa. So that's my honest opinion between Kenya and Ethiopia. Um, both countries are developed. You know, there's certain parts that might be a bit undeveloped, but both countries are really developed. Both countries are very hospitable. Food is amazing, um, but I pretty much prefer Ethiopian food. I did not, I went night, the nightlife I experienced in Ethiopia is insane. The nightlife in Ethiopia is amazing. Those guys know how to party. Nightlife in Ethiopia is insane. I did not experience nightlife in, in, um, in Kenya, unfortunately, but I heard Kenya has an amazing nightlife. So I definitely recommend you guys to try both. I've only tried Ethiopia, but I definitely want to try Kenya's nightlife. Um, I didn't go to the beaches in Mombasa in Kenya, but I would love to go. So I need to experience that for myself. Hostels are quite common in Ethiopia, um, in Kenya. I did not stay in, in, in a hostel. I stayed in couch surfing and, and, and Airbnb. 
So I would definitely recommend you guys just to live cheap. Um, try to stay in hostels in Ethiopia or hostels in Kenya as well because they're affordable, they're cheap. Use Couchsurfing, it's an amazing platform. Or use Airbnb. Um, when it comes to money, try to use Western unions in both countries or you can go to the black market in Ethiopia or to the black market in Kenya. But try to use, um, just try to use Western unions because you always get double the rate whenever you exchange money. So for money-wise, you'll be okay. Don't use ATMs because they will charge you a fee every single time you withdraw money from the ATM. So guys, I just wanted to say that was my honest opinion review in Kenya and Ethiopia. But um, hopefully I'll be back in both countries and when I want to come back to Ethiopia and Kenya, I want to go to certain parts where certain content creators haven't been. And I want to show why people should go to these countries. So, Sanamnam in Ethiopian, Karibu in um, Swahili. Ciao. Hope you guys enjoyed my honest review video. And please visit Kenya and Ethiopia, Tuende, Kenya, and um, Tuende, Ethiopia. Bye.